I'm feeling new love in the air right now. I have an individual in front of me that has completely embraced the new cycle. They are so excited and ready for either the relationship that just started or this feeling of I am deeply about to meet my next soul tie. That person that's deeper than a soulmate. That person that could very, very well lead to a divine connection. When people try to focus right at the beginning on this is my twin flame, this is my divine, etc. It takes away from whatever connection there is. You let that form, you let those questions be answered organically. What matters right now is it's somebody from releasing a person you were chasing. You've, you've really been able to release them. Like, even if you've been separated for months, years, weeks, etc. Take it as it resonates for you. Something about this past, even maybe not even just this past week, maybe this past month, you're like, I am over them. I don't want, I don't want them because of the intense ability they had. I'm taking a download in an interesting way. They had so much power over me than I realized. And it wasn't that they're stronger than me. It's what I gave away so effortless. I don't want to be with somebody that could see me at a low and use me. For so long, you, you claimed when it came to one connection, that's not anything to do with this person, but we're, we're really solidifying something for you to further on into this next dynamic. There was a, there was a person before that it's like you could have had two weeks of a great connection and then the rest of the connection you were f you were feeding off that s little part of bliss and forgetting all of the red flags and all of the projecting and all of the running away because of that simple little bit amount of time where there was bliss you thought it counter-reacted everything else that was following afterwards. And no matter if you were the one that ended that dynamic, but you didn't want to, or if they ended it and you were redirected to the next opening of your life, no matter how that resonates, you don't want them anymore. And you really feel so relieved. Because you almost got to the point where you're like, does this person have like a fucking spell on me from the amount I think and feel for them and want to be accepted? For some of you, and take this as it resonates and don't make things fit, some of you, it absolutely was not anything to do with a love spell. It was to do with something within you of wanting to chase what would never accept you. Another part of you, it was due to thinking you did something wrong and you had the chance with that one person and you just had to fix it that it was something to do with you i was too fast i was too slow blah 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 it was completely like taking all blame and for another part of you a small collective there was a form of a, if what i'm hearing is an infatuation spell that was put on you I don't say it was even strong. I mean, it was strong, but it wasn't strong enough to stay hooked. They made, there is a very, there's a small frame of you here who this person absolutely did try to do some form of infatuation to be engulfed by you when it came to their energy or make you fall in love with them but never truly get too close because they wanted your attention. They wanted you to come and go as they pleased. Whoever this is, you, you, if, if it is some form of love spell, 
Infatuation spell, you broke free of it and you see through the curse. For the majority of you who they, they see, this was a reflection of self, of the chaser within you that felt like you had to go for what didn't want to and accept you. For the ones of you here who were deeply infatuated by them, but went red on everything else, that saw the highest timeline together but was ignoring the current, no matter how it resonates, your curse, all of you, have been freed. And now it's time to see who can give you balance, give and take, who does shine a light on your mind and forgives, not forgets, forgives each other. So no matter if that person before their presence tries to come back into your life or not, you know that you're now hitting the check mark with other people and there's things that are going in motion in your life now because you have released even more than people that don't serve mindsets and ways of thinking you have to act and be and do. The new partner in your life that you are either attracting in as we speak or the new relationship you have dived down is the farthest from a runner. They do want you to know that they're very closed off to a lot of people, but not you. Your partner, the person that dives into the same craft as you, it is hard to get into their bubble. It is hard to be trusted by them. But it's so effortless for them to not only trust you, but have fun with you also and feel like they can have their guard down. This person definitely is not a love bomber. And they're not somebody that's going to make you reflect in the mirror and see the parts of you that you need to change. The mirror is different. They, they, they are a mirror, but it's, it's in a totally different form than when you normally hear it. It's about how they make you see the part of you that you have to work on. And the dark night of your soul, the things that you're not wanting to see, this is different this type of mirror comes in after you've gone through those dynamics. This mirror is somebody that makes you see your delicacy, your effort, your drive. They mirror the best aspects of you. It's not the worst or the dark or what needs to be worked on. It, it's highlighting what you have done and met. This person is absolutely more than a soul mate. They are a soul tie. They are about rebuilding. They are about, when they say rebuilding, this person's gone through their tower moments. They've gone through their relationships. They've gone through their friendships and everything that teared down. And they have already rebuilt on their strong foundation. They have something to give you and you have something to give them. They want you to know that today you are enough. There is nothing you must do. They love and accept you for who you are now and everything. The small moments, the big moments together. This is a person that does not expect you to do all the work either. They will effortlessly give you balance, give and take. They will listen to you. They're ready to go on a date. And they also want you to know that they want you to cut down. They, they, you've already, some of you have already been on dates. So the, in, the ones of you here who are manifesting the person to come in, they already want to cut down on the time you don't spend each, with each other. They are about a balance give and take. They have a lot of responsibilities, but they, they are like, I make an effort for my person. They are ready. They are getting themselves back out there as you are. If this is a person you've already attracted in and you're in the midst of that relationship, I see you guys going to a state of cutting down on time separated. Making, even if it's a long distance relationship, making plans, making 
there not be resistance. Like there is no resistance in both of you seeing each other. It is simple. It is so simple to see how you could be so busy and still make time for somebody is what I'm hearing. They have enough to give. They want you to know. They know that you're you're not completely healed. That there's going to be parts of you that have insecurities and fears. But they will be by your side. They're not going to go. They don't care about what you have. It's just a fact that you both do have something to give. You're going to be shocked just how easy it is for you to lower that mask that we all have to put on in this world. How easy it is to see also who they are through their pictures. To see that their mask is almost masking truly how much courage and strength It's an interesting energy. This person almost masks how strong they are, how much they've been through. This isn't a masking energy of like an opposite. Like this is almost like somebody who's so positive and supportive and gives and is high vibrational because of so much dark shit that's happened to them. They make being positive look easy. Go with me here and that. At a certain point, it, it's it's easy, but it's not when you when you're going through the shadow work. This is a person that when you're gonna be shocked when you find out just all the shit they've been through, and how they hold themselves, and how they got to where they are today. The more and more you learn about them, the more and more you're gonna love, love and fall in love with them. That's what I got for y'all today. Now it's time to talk about the Colorado Adventure. Guys, at the time of me filling at the time of me filming this reading, I only have one spot available. One last spot available for the Colorado Adventure. It is 6 days, August 11th through August 16th. It is just as much spiritual as it is physical. It's about a 3 out of 5 when it comes to physical activity. Every single one of the days, we're going to dive into a different spiritual topic. We're going to have guided energy readings. I am gifting a spiritual basket to every single participant of the trip that's going to be full of divination tools and the first prints of my tarot slash oracle decks. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send me an email at contact at offprintmint.com. The link to the trip site is on all of my social media platforms and all of the links.